Facebook. Hi guys, we're trying to make a tea stand today because I wanted to uh, start weighing my birds just to keep an eye on whether they're eating too much or too little uh, and getting overweight and, and just have a good idea of what sort of data we can we can use that for. So what we're going to do today is we're going to build a tea stand out of some natural branches. Only thing that isn't going to be natural is the base. And this is just some some um, custom wood MDF from the local hardware store. Just been a lot off cut I had laying around, so we'll have this as the base of a, a fairly thick uh, branch coming up the top here, with a, a thinner one going across the top, and then we'll be able to put that onto you know just some your basic you know food scales that you find in your kitchen. We'll paint the bottom here so we can wipe it all off and keep it nice and clean and hygienic. So, let's start with this. First things first, um, don't forget the safety goggles. So I've already pre-marked this piece of wood. A nice square base. You don't want to make it too, um, uh, too lopsided. Uh, so I've Thought I'd make a nice quick base. Uh, it's around about 200 mil square. That should give us enough stability without making the pole too tall, because then they'll get leveraged to, as they land on it. They'll tip it over, and you don't want that. So it's about 200 mil square. It's a nice size, especially for a food scales, because it can sit on there and it doesn't cover up the display too much. So let's cut this off. Real simple. There's your base. So we'll paint that up, give it a nice coat of black paint. Uh, it just means if any droppings go on it, we can wipe them off real easy, rather than having soak into the base. So here's some branches I've had cut off on the trees around the garden. I've let them sit out in the sun and dry for a couple of months. Um, so they're nice and dry now. Um, and I'll give them a quick brush down with water, just to get rid of any mildew or anything like that that's on there. Obviously I've still got to take off a few branches. Basically we're going to have this as a base, plonk that across the top and away we go. So let's cut this up. Now what I was saying before is if we plonk that on there like that straight away there's too much leverage there and this will just tip over when they fly. So we need to make that shorter. But you don't want to make it too short because you don't want their tails hitting the ground and stuff like that. So because I'm mainly doing this for Hans McCaws and they're roughly 13 inches long you can pretty much make it half that height now, six inches will, will probably do. We'll, we'll probably make it about that size I reckon. We'll have a nice little feature knot in there as well. That's cool. Go be gone, let's go. Nice little tip is always to cut the base as well, just to make it nice and square. Makes it a lot easier to, uh, to screw down to as well. Nice and square. And that will sit on the base. Really nicely. So this one here, idea is going to be Let's sit down there. So we've got to find a nice section of this branch that we want to use. I'm kind of thinking not free section down here. Here to here will be good. So let's try that. So there's a nice cut. Probably just want to square off that edge. Once again we've got great little off cuts here and birds will absolutely love it. Put down a bit of um, a bit of wire or string drill holes through it um, and they'll just tear that bark off keep them used for maybe hours hopefully days right so we have our main components here the base with this log the stump and we'll screw that on and that'll be our tea stand make sure we paint this first and um, then comes the fun part training the birds to get onto that so that we can weigh them. So as you can see, uh, painted up that MDF board. It's come up fairly well. Just a quick bit of water-based black paint. 
and we will screw this on here and we will have the pivot. So I've pre-drilled these holes just so that we don't get any splitting in the wood. Not necessarily needed but I'd like to be careful. Drill these in. All good. Pre drill this again. Um, so it should be easy to go on here. There we go. So we finally uh, we finished making the T stand for the scales. All natural. Didn't cost me a cent. Admittedly, I had um, the MDF, it's black paint laying around, and a few screws. Other than that, all natural. The birds are going to love it. They're not going to be frightened of it. All the perches they're used to made out of the same uh, trees I cut down for their foraging um, and for their foliage in their aviary. So it um, should be really easy to train the birds. Sit up on here, get a reading off the scales and, and, and record that to, so we can work out whether they you know, are getting ill, whether they you know, can we overweight, etc. So see how we go with the trainer. Yes. They were a little bit apprehensive about this tea stand when I first put it in. So I just left an almond on top. Eventually they climb up to grab the almond. He seems pretty comfortable with it now. So now I'll go off and train him to, to jump up there uh, on a regular basis and give him rewards. And um, eventually we'll get him to do that every time he sees that. That means jump up on there and we can wave. So it's all looking good. And if you enjoyed this video um, and you want to see more of the sort of things that I get up to on a regular basis with birds and the, and the aviaries I visit, etc., please subscribe to this channel, like the videos, give me lots of comments, tell, tell me what you want me to, to show you next. Um, if you've got questions, please ask away. I'm more than happy to, to see what answers I can come up with uh, for you. So please subscribe, like, and um, let's, uh, let's talk. Cheers.